Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Darkest Dungeon. So, I was going to remove this shes from our Vestal, but unfortunately I can't, because she will only gamble. And the gambling hall is already occupied. So, let's just do the next run, shall we? And I already picked our group. It's going to be a Vestal, an Occultist, Dismas, Highwayman and a Crusader. And we're going to do the medium dungeon in the ruins, because there's a decent amulet in here, plus 30% debuff skill chance and plus 30% debuff resist. There is a boss available already, but I don't want to do that just yet. As much as I like the ring. Maybe another time. So, let's go then. That's a medium dungeon, so we probably want at least 20 food, I would say. Let's just grab two full stacks of food. At least one shovel. Let's go for two shovels, just to be safe. We'll grab one skeleton key and some torches. Nine torches should be enough. And that looks good. Let's go! So, the objective is to complete 100% of room battles. Let's have a look. Looks like this room is empty. We can ignore that. Let's move this way. There's a battle in there. We'll check it out. Oh, great. Plus 25 stress. That's not a very good start, but alright. And we walked straight into a trap. <laughs> that was my bad. But 50 stress already? That's not great. Fortunately, we can reduce stress a little bit. I guess we'll just have to do that. So, first of all, let's target the bone court here because stress. We should be able to kill it. Let's have a look. We could pull it towards us, I suppose that works. It's at one health now. Yep, just kill it. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. As for the Crusader... Oh no, this guy doesn't actually have that ability. Right. Okay then. Let's try a stun on the defender. There we go, that works. Here comes the Herbalist. Yep, 11 critical. Not a great start. 56 stress. And this is only the first room. Well, hopefully the rest will be a little bit better. Let's try Grape Shot Blast. We'll have to clear that corpse. Yep, death's door already. That was quick. Not a good start. Not at all. I'm not happy about this. Well, let's heal him up a bit. Yes, it's always a little bit risky to use that heal, but in this case we kind of needed it. Unfortunately, now he will get some penalties. But not much we can really do about that at the moment. Let's heal him up some more. 13. Oh, 17. 13 is the stress. It will have to do. What's his total health again? 23. Yeah, it's not amazing. So, how about we pull the Arbalist towards us? That sounds like a good idea. It will be easier to hit him that way. Let's just prioritize that guy. And kill him with judgment, I hope. There we go. No miss on the judgment this time. The rest should be easy. Just sucks about the penalties, but oh well. It's not a huge dungeon. I think we'll be fine. Clear that corpse. And kill the defender. And that's that. We got a torch and some valuables. And hidden treasures. 125 gold. <laughs> Alright. That's not my definition of treasures, but okay. Whatever you say. I'm going to skip this fight down here. Since we don't have to fight them. We just need to clear the rooms. And that's not a room. Speaking of fights... Yep. Acolyte. And extra stress right away. At least it wasn't on the Crusader. Let's see... We probably want to kill that Acolyte ASAP. 
So let's try to prioritize that. Yep, dodged. Not good. At least they missed too. Is that going to be one health? Yep, literally one health out of 13, and our Crusader cannot target the Acolyte, unfortunately. I think it will get one more chance, yep, unfortunately. But he's not using the stress attack. That's not too bad then. As the fiend falls, a faint hope right, do we want a heal? Let's use a heal, plus 10, nice. I always like that heal. It's a bit RNG dependent, and you can end up hurting yourself more than helping, but if you need a really big single target heal, that one can heal for a lot, even without crits. Yes, you can end up killing yourself with it if you get really unlucky with the bleed, but there has to be some downside, otherwise it would be a bit too overpowered. And that's that. Oh nice, we got holy water and gold. Let's move on then. Maybe use a torch. Or even two torches. Nothing interesting there apparently. Or they don't like books. <laughs> I'm sure that's it. Alright, nice. A locked chest. And we surprised them too. So let's try to kill that acolyte. All we need is two good hits. Or maybe three hits. There we go, it's down. We still got the court here, but at least we got the acolyte. The court here doesn't increase stress that much, but the acolytes are pretty annoying. Stop targeting that guy! Yeah, this must just won't get a break. They all want him dead. 61 and 63 stress. Okay, at least he dodged. No death door this time. What do we do now? We could kill one of these guys. Well, actually, no. We would need more damage. Let's pull the court here towards us. There. Almost enough. Single target heal. The Crusader should be able to kill the courtier. With zealous accusation. Or it will dodge, but we killed the other guy. I guess that's fine. More heals. How about we heal up some more before we finish this? Yeah, that was fairly unlucky, but that's okay. Clear the corpses. We can get one more round of heals. So, yeah, let's not attack the skeleton just yet. Don't want to kill it. There, that's better. Plus eight. And we resisted the bleed, too. One more. And I think that will do. Yep, we dodged. Nice. Or can we get one more? We can try one more. And then we'll kill the skeleton with judgment or something like that. Plus eight, nice. And we resisted the bleed. Another one falls. Good job. Now let's check the chest. Something Remind good, please. That overconfidence is a slow and insidious yeah, that's killer. not too bad. 12 crests. Let's move on. We got some scouting information. Okay, there are obstacles both ways. Well then, I guess it doesn't really matter which way we go. Let's go this way. At least we know the rooms are empty, so we can skip this room right here. Even the cold stone. It's fine, we got the shovels. The I'm not too worried about that. Any tramps around here? Not seeing any. Alright, let's go this way then. 
We only got three more rooms to check. Oh great, I just walked straight into a trap. I saw it the last moment, but it was a little bit too late. And not the rule. Lot. Some gold. Alright. Wait, what's this about? Okay, whatever. Let's eat that food to heal ourselves. We still got 24 food. And we can still camp. Maybe we should just camp right now. Get some buffs. Sure, let's just camp really quick. Circle in the and dark. we'll eat the as much food as possible. That still leaves us with more than enough. And what can we do here? Let's maybe prevent nighttime ambush first. Like so. And what else? Reduce stress, if possible. Can we do that? Not really. Well, yeah, we kind of can. Alright. And what else? We can heal up. Minus 15% stress. Okay. Let's just heal up a little bit. And that's that. The way is lit. The path Let's is move clear. on. There's a fight in the next room. The and there's also a trap it. in this corridor. Let's watch out for that. Glittering gold. Another journal page. In baubles, paid for in blood. I assume this mass will have the higher trap disarm. 50%. There's the trap. And we failed to disarm it, unfortunately. Oh well. To life with a singular purpose. In we go. And we surprised them. Nice. I guess we're almost done. There's maybe one more fight. Other than this one. First of all, let's pull the Acolyte towards us. And try to kill the Acolyte. There. Good start. And the courtier. If possible. Probably not on the first turn. Do we have a bandage? No, we don't. That's fine. Fifty stress. I thought it would be worse, to be honest. It's not that bad. I think what I'm going to do is use all the people with around 50 stress to do a short dungeon run. Because right now the goal is to save as much gold as possible. I don't want to waste gold when it's not necessary. Nice heal, plus 12. Back to full health with you. Clear that corpse. There we go. Zealous accusation should do it. Or a crit. That also works. Done. A trifling victory. That will give us a buff, a yep. 15% protection and plus 10 dodge. One more battle, well, two more battles, because there's one battle in the corridor. And we can't skip that one. But other than that, we are almost done. I think I'll do a short run after this. But let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. Oh, can we use holy water here? I honestly don't remember. I think there's a chance to remove one of the negative traits or quirks. Okay, we lost some stress. Good enough. 17. We can use him for the next run. 
Oh, a madman. Right, that guy will add a lot of stress. If we don't kill him quickly. Yeah. And he usually goes first or second. 57 on our Vestal. Oh, nice. We got a crit on the heal from that. <laughs> Almost there. We need two more damage. There. Nice. Now the bone cord here. Hey, stop that. That's just rude. Yep, a little bit of extra stress. Oh well. That's still fine. Be gone, fiend. Yeah, be gone. <laughs> and don't come back. Should we heal up a bit? We do have one more fight coming. So let's heal up. 18 critical! <laughs> okay. That was the biggest heal so far. And we resisted the bleed too. Let's finish this then. He might get one more shot or not. How's the stress? 39, 28, 4 and 49. I can live with that. One last fight. Let's just use all the torches. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. Alright, last fight. Acolyte, courtier, brawler and defender. Should be easy enough. Let's pull the Acolyte towards us. Just to avoid extra stress. 67 on the Vestal. The bleed landed. So it's basically dead now. The bleed will kill it. Or we can kill it with the loss accusation. Probably better to use smite on the brawler. Yeah, that will do way more damage. And the acolyte will die regardless. We almost killed that brawler with one attack. He's down to literally one health. Lead. That's fine. Can we kill that court here already? Oh, we missed everything. <laughs> Seriously now? That's better. There we go, 11 critical. Much better. Well, the run ended up being much better than the first fight would indicate. <laughs> that death's door at the start was just bad luck for the most part. Oh, we got something. Debuff stone. That's not terrible. And we're done. More bones return to rest. We got debuff amulet, five deeds. And 4,500 gold. And more gold. So what about quirks? Anything good or bad? Evasive, plus 5 dodge. And cove adventurer. Alright then. The plume and the so pistol. let's check the stagecoach. What do we fire. have here? We have a Vestal, a Hellion. I do want a Hellion. And another bounty hunter. We could upgrade. Well, we need more deeds. It won't be very efficient trading for that many deeds. We could just dismiss one of these people. We probably should. Necromania. No, this guy is still fine. Yeah, that's bad. Gambler, lazy eye. Okay, four negative quirks, but none of them are that bad, actually. 
Who has the worst set of negative quirks? Let's have a look. Yeah, these aren't amazing. What about the Plague Doctor? I think I'll be keeping all of them for now. Okay, I'll be keeping all of them for now. Do we want to upgrade anything? Do we want to reduce anyone's stress? Well, possibly. Let's start upgrading some of the facilities. So, as far as stress removal goes, I'm going to prioritize praying and gambling. Because with gambling you can get some nice items. There are downsides, there are some negative events you can get from gambling. But you have a chance to get a lot of really nice stuff with gambling. And praying because praying has the least negative effects. So let's just upgrade that right away. Yep, that will use busts and crests. We can afford that. Reduce cost a man in a robe, and increase slots to two. With the no, this is enough for now and we'll Madness. send one guy. Over here. Alright, and we should also upgrade the guild. Let's see. Actually, do we have to upgrade that? Not yet. I am not going to buy any skills just yet. Alright, let's do another run. Something short. Medium, medium, short. Plus one person crit for an Arbalest. Alright, we could do that. Anything else that's short? Yeah, these two. No, hold on, that's level 3. Plus 25% damage versus Unholy. That's not terrible. We could do the wield. Complete 100% of room battles or explore 90% of the rooms. Wait, no, that's the medium run. Where's the short one? Right here. Explore 90% of the rooms. Let's go for this one. We'll do one run in the wield. Who do we want to bring then? Let's have a look. Definitely a tank. So this guy will be fine. Which skills does he have? Smite, Stunning Blow, Bulwark of Faith and Inspiring Cry. He doesn't have Zealous Accusation. I guess we could just buy that. I kind of like having that skill on Crusaders, so... I suppose we can buy it. Works for me. Alright, back we go then. And swap Inspiring Cry? Actually no, let's keep it. That can reduce stress. Who else? Obviously a healer. Divine Grace, yep, good enough. And Judgment is here as well. How about a Houndmaster? We got two Houndmasters, right? No, just one. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, let's grab that guy. It's a short dungeon, so a little bit of stress should be okay. And one more person. Actually, let's bring the stressed healer. This should be a short run, at least in theory. And the plague doctor. That was the general idea. Grab the people who have some stress and do a short run. So, off we go. We'll grab some food. Should be enough. One shovel. And what else? Some torches. One stack of torches should be enough. And anti-venom. We might need that for the wield. Okay, let's grab one more. And I think we're set. Yep, let's go. And here we are. A very straightforward layout. So first of all, we have to check this room in case there's a battle in there. I wouldn't want to backtrack all the way. Oh great, we walked straight into a trap. Not a good start. 
Okay, what can we use on that? Can't say I remember. Oh, it has a lock, so we don't really have a key. Yep, it's trapped. But we resisted. Nothing in here. We have to check, so... Back we go. In the other direction. I bet there's going to be a fight in that final room at the end. <laughs> Probably. I guess we'll find out. Maybe we should have brought more than one shovel, but it's a short dungeon. Hopefully we won't need more than one shovel. Some gold, not a lot of it. How's our light level? 85 now. Alright, ectoplasms and two acolytes. Let's see then. Let's start with a plague grenade. One of them resisted. And then what? We could try to bleed them. That might work. Let's give it a shot. There, it worked. They are both bleeding. That's five damage per round. And zealous accusation on the ectoplasms. Give them no quarter. How about we try judgment? Is that enough for a kill? Not really. It will be enough on the next turn. Plus 17, yeah, 59 stress. We might hit 100, but it shouldn't be a big problem in a short dungeon. Plague grenade again to stack some blights. And that's enough, we just need one more hit. There's no need to use that. Oh, it dodged. <laughs> Never mind. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Seriously? Dodged again? And I can't attack with the Crusader. Well, that's annoying. Great is the weapon but it will die from blight and bleed. So what's this? Can't say I remember what interacts with that. Probably a shovel, which we don't have. So never mind. Let's move on. Yep, I should have brought more than one shovel. Tools of oh well, you must maybe next time. And that was not brilliant. This corridor looks clear. Some heirlooms. Hopefully we won't run into any more obstacles. But next time I will bring more than one shovel to the wield. Some hounds. Yeah, they can bleed us. We are about to hit 100 stress. 94 right now. They will all get an attack before we get a chance to move. Alright, how's their bleed? Or I mean, blight resist. 60%. Not worth it then. Let's use incision. Cleansed from our lands. Well, we lost a little bit of stress. That's a good thing. We could bleed them. 20% bleed resist. Might be better to just try and get a kill. That was almost enough. Unfortunately, it resisted a bleed. Kill it then. We can still use Zealous Accusation, but that won't do enough damage. Or actually, yeah, it will with a crit. One more round. Should have used Battlefield Medicine. <laughs> Too late! I could still wait one more round. Let's heal ourselves a little bit. Someone else can get a kill. And heal one more time is fine. And maybe remove some stress. Yeah, let's remove some stress. 85, that's better. I don't really want to hit 100 if I don't have to. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Let's remove that bleed. 
and stun. There we go. Let's get some more heals before we move on. That's much better. And remove some more stress. 79. We shouldn't hit 100. Unless we get really unlucky. 83. Right, we have to kill that dog now. There. 79, 83. Anything interesting in here? Yep, some heirlooms. There's a trap in the corridor, but the next room is clear. Alright, let's disarm the trap. Who has the highest trap disarming here? Probably 50%. So, two more fights at most. Actually, there might be some fights in the corridors. That's a possibility. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. I think we need a bandage for this one. But we don't have one. We got some valuables. Not the best run of all times so far. We didn't get that much gold. Speaking of gold, 250. Yeah, fine. Better than nothing. And yes, there was a fight in the corridor. Fortunately, not a very hard one. Shouldn't be a big problem. That was almost a kill. One damage short. Not exactly what I was looking for there. Be gone, fiend. Okay, that's not what I was going for. <laughs> My bad. Alright, people. You are at full health. No need for self-heal. There, the bleed landed, but we still need one more damage. Zealous Accusation should do it, unless it misses. Remove the bleed. And that's that. Destroy them all. Nice haul. Troubling effigy. Holy water. Yep. And what did we get? Wield tactician. Yeah, sure, that's not too bad. Plus 15% damage in the wield. I'll take it. Last fight? Possibly, unless there's one more in the last room. Okay. So these things are fairly annoying. What are the resists? Blight. Yeah, Blight will not land. Let's try a bleed. On the brawler. There we go. And we can try to bleed them all. Let's go for it. Nice, they are all bleeding now. Okay, they do have high protection. Well, not very high, but they got some protection. So bleeds will be quite useful there. Now, we could try to kill the brawler. There's nothing to heal, so let's try to kill the brawler. And he's dead. Maintain the offensive. As for our crusader, what's the stun resist? 25%. Let's try a stun. Yep, it worked. Just the artillery then. We dodged the mark. Nice. Not the other one, but that's okay. You are stunned. I think we'll have to get rid of that corpse, unfortunately. Oh, the bleed landed. Right, only 20% resist. Let's try more bleeds then. That's the best we can do here. I need to remember to use the dog treats. I always forget about those. But they are certainly a thing. I guess we can still use them in this fight, but this fight is basically almost done. We are close to 100, but we are also close to done. 
We can remove the blight, however. There. Is that quite enough? Not yet, no. But that's enough. It will die from the bleed. This is how a life is taken. Let's see. We just need to land one attack. There. So are we done or is there one more fight in the final room? We are done, nice. Back to the hamlet. Wasn't the best run ever, but wasn't terrible. For a short run it was decent. So, what about the quirks? Anything good or bad? Beast hater, okay. May not meditate while in town. Minus 10% stress healed. Minus 20% armor upgrade cost. Oh, that's nice. That will save us some gold. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.